lovelies, as you can see I am in Delilah's room and I am finally doing my long awaited, very much requested nursery tour. I'm finally going to show you around Delilah's room. This is definitely my favourite room in the flat. I'm really proud of what I've managed to do with it. As lovely as it is, it's definitely a little bit more practical than half of the nursery room tours that I've seen on YouTube. I think it's because most people do them before their baby's born. There's a lot of stuff you learn in the first year that actually, stuff like cot mobiles, um, for babies like Delilah who um, really struggle to sleep, a mobile wasn't a good idea, so her bed is so plain um, because when the sleep specialist came to try and help with her sleep and she worked miracles, she came in and the first thing she did was take the mobile down. And we also have things like a monitor camera pinned to the wall above her cot. It doesn't look great, but it's <laughs> it's practical. So this is my favourite area of Delilah's room. It's the first thing you see when you walk in and it's definitely the, the centrepiece of her room. I got this shelf from The White Company and you'll notice a theme of oak, wood and cream or cream white throughout her room. Uh, one, because I just, I like it, uh, but two, uh, a lot of the stuff that I've brought in here is very classic, so it's stuff that will hopefully age with her. That's definitely my biggest tip for getting bits for your baby's room. Um, I personally try to get stuff that we would happily have in the rest of the flat um, if later on she decides she doesn't want it or it's not practical to be in their room anymore. It comes with these pegs, so we've got her Delilah's raincoat. She's got some stuff on here that really needs to be taken off and put into storage because she's got this Zara fleecy coat, which I got her last year, and as you can see, it's absolutely tiny. I'm so sad she's grown out of it. But yeah, that's been on there since last winter. She's got some cardigans, she's got this little yellowy green one from Bowden. She's got her first rucksack. She started the childminders recently and she needed something to put her stuff in so I got her a rucksack obviously she doesn't wear it she's only just turned one um, but then when she's older she can still use this rucksack again we've got stuff like this um, adorable gnome bobbly hat thing I think they're called pixie hats not gnome hats, pixie hats and um, she's got this adorable hat um, which won't fit her this winter nor will she actually keep it on her head anymore and then we have this frame which I love I, oh, I can't remember where it's from um, but any, anything that I can link in the description, I will. But yeah, I love this frame. I think it goes really well with her room. Um, I love the pink balloons. It goes with the pink walls. And then I think the grey elephant is quite sweet. And grey and pink are quite a nice colour combo. She's got some Beatrix Potter books here, which she gets given by her great-grandma um, on like birthdays and Christmases. And she'll get given like a couple a couple at a time and yeah she's building up a lovely collection and then she's got a little pair of pram shoes these are my favorite shoes of hers she still just about fits these but they are so hard to get on they're from mango i get asked about them a lot um, i love them so much that she had them in the small size and then she had them in the next size up they are adorable but she's now at that stage where she needs proper shoes she then has a couple of toys up here she loves this one from mummies and Papas. And then she has this Fifi Le Pin one that I bought her along with a couple of dresses before she was born. And she's actually just started showing an interest in like teddies and dolls and she goes up to them and she goes, ah, <laughs> which is really sweet. So yeah, that is the little shelf area. And then down here, this chair I got from the Futon Company. We originally had a rocking chair which looked lovely and went very well with her room, but it was very old a little bit broken and very uncomfortable to sit in. And when we got this chair, I was very much still in the uh, being woken up every hour or two stage uh, to feed her during the night. She was about five, six months and we wanted to transition her from being in our room in the crib to coming into her own room in the big cot. And I thought I can't be up every couple of hours during the night and feed her on the rocking chair that was in here because it was just so uncomfortable that I went out and I got this from the Futon Company. And again, I got it because it looked nice, it's very neutral, it went in here well, but um, when it doesn't need to be in here any longer, I can have it as an office chair if I do eventually get my own little room for an office, or I can use it um, in our bedroom or my little beauty station that I have. This cushion is just one that I had lying around, I think it's really old H&M or something like that. This dolly here, this absolutely beautiful doll is by, I'm not too sure, I know it's Stella <laughs> something. So the lovely girl that gifted this to us hand makes all of these. You can get custom ones and you can tell her exactly what you want. Do what the buttons are like, to the little collars, the color of hair, 
skin color, lip color, whether the eyes are open or shut, what dress she has. They're just amazing. Like Delilah's had this in her room a few months before she was born. And you can even get your child's name um, hand stitched. So here you'll see Delilah's name's been stitched on the back, which is just a really lovely touch. It's just so beautifully made. Like I said, everything will be linked in the description because I can't quite remember um, her exact name for her company. And then if we just move down here, there's just a couple of bits here. Again, Delilah's sort of outgrown them, so we'll probably just end up putting them in storage. But this is wooden arch thingy um, that she used to lay under and play with these. Now she just kind of stands on it and pulls these out. This is from Ikea, good old Ikea. Ikea do some really fab kids toys so um yeah i really recommend ikea and then this down here was a gift from my mum to delilah and it's from the white company it's just these squishy stackable animal rings and some of them like this elephant have crinkly ears some of them rattle and yeah it's just a it's just a really lovely present so here we have a blanket box that was originally in our living room but then when i was decorating delilah's room i thought that actually this box would be great to store all her toys in so it's it's kind of gone from being a blanket box in the living room to a toy box in her bedroom i think it was from argos or something like that here we have a basket of just random toys, stuff she doesn't really play with anymore. Rattles, she's definitely outgrown rattles. Another thing from Ikea, a little um, little sensory book. And a lovely knitted elephant from Kath Kitson that um, our friends gave her. And she's also got like a little knitted bunny and a stif bear that my mum got her when she was born. And then here we have a couple of blankets. I got her this a long, long time ago. I love the tone of the pink that's on her walls but I also at the same time like to offset it with more earthier tones and so I really like how the mustard coloured pom-poms goes with her room. It stops it all being so pink um, and yeah this is beautiful. This was um, from an Etsy store, all hand crocheted and then this blanket is from Maury. It's grey with stars all over it and it's a huge huge blanket. Now Delilah's getting older she's actually starting to use this stuff. Let's move on to the cot. I love that this bed's going to last her until she's about three or four. So obviously it had the three different heights and now it's on the lowest one. Now she can pull herself up and almost walk. The side panels can then be taken off and then it's a toddler bed. So hopefully um, there won't be that horrible transition from cot to toddler bed where you end up with sleepless nights again because I don't want to sleep in their new bed and um, hopefully the transition won't be too hard on her because it'll be the same bed just without the sides off and you can even take one side off at a time and see how you go. There are also drawers under the bed. This is where we keep all her nappies and she also has um, a load of bibs and some swimming stuff, water wipes so when we bulk buy water wipes we just put them all under her bed. She also has her um, warmer sleeping bag um, under the bed as well and here is her current sleeping bag that she's using both of these are from the white company the white company do my favorite sleeping bags for her they are so soft that they're in that really lovely jersey fabric that just gets softer and softer the more you use it they feel really like plush and squishy and just really cozy even the one that's um this is like a this is a one tog sleeping bag and it's still like really squishy but even now i'm like oh i go to bed right now so yeah this is her winter one which is currently tucked away under the bed and this is her current one top one that she has been wearing. Um, but yeah, they're both from the White Company and they're just the best. As you'll see here, this is her muslin that she sleeps with. It's pretty disgusting right now. This was a little tip that the sleep specialist gave us. She um, tied knots in it so Delilah's got something to one play with and also chew on. And when I feed her every night before bed, I take this into um, my bedroom with me where I feed her with dim lighting. I put this on us and she snuggles with it and then my scent rubs off onto it and so then when I put her down to bed she has this and it smells like me and it gives her a bit of comfort. And here you'll see that the mattress has a pillow underneath it so it's slightly slanted up um, which is another tip that the um, sleep specialist gave us. So I don't know, it might be something you want to try. And then here we have her chest of drawers. These are from Ikea. And all I did was buy these wooden knobs online. And instead of putting the ones that Ikea give you to put on these drawers, I put these wooden ones on instead. And I think it just makes it tie in nicely with the room. But also makes it a little bit safer. Toddlers are prone to hurting themselves a lot and the knobs that originally came with these chest of drawers they were metal and really quite sharp so I thought that's probably going to hurt if she hits her head on them so I swapped them around 
one for that but two aesthetically it looks quite nice and up until recently these drawers were very organized but she has loads of stuff in here that i need to go through and take out because there's so much stuff that doesn't fit her anymore in here and um, so it's still quite organized but it is a little bit of a mess and down here i have uh bed sheets blankets have these lovely ones from uh i think it's bluebird company or some bluebird something I have spare clean towels this is her other sleeping bag that she has from the orla kylie range a grow bag but i just don't like it as much as the white company ones but that is good for emergencies if for some reason we need to have put the other ones in the wash on top of her chest of drawers uh, you'll notice we still have her changing mat we haven't changed her on top of this for a long time we usually just change it on the floor either in here or in the living room but we've kept this up here just because it's nice to put on the bathroom floor when we'll get her out the bath and we put her nappy and pajamas on because our bathroom is tiled so it's a little bit comfier comfier for her to sit on I have this mirror here from ikea and um, i really like it and again when she doesn't want to use it i'll happily have it in our room oh oh The top drawer here has um, a lot of her pyjamas and vests and tops, again it will really need to sort in. Here in this wire basket I have her nappies, we still keep them in here because it's just much more convenient to have them in here than to keep going into the, um, the drawers under her bed. But yeah this was great when she was really young and we were changing her in here because it was just right next to us to grab. We have a little plant here, she did have a money plant in here and uh, recently it died so swapped it for this one and then we just have a couple of products here to be honest she's not actually really used these Burt's Bees ones but we have used this a few times and this is the baby sleep pillow spray by this works we don't use it loads but it is it is really lovely i'm gonna do a little bit of handheld vlogging now because it's much easier to show you this area and um, so here we have this seat which i've been asked about quite a lot this is from jojo mama she's actually a little bit too big for it now but um, I've kept it in here because it looks sweet. And then here we have her birthday present that Doug and I got her for her birthday just gone. And it's a Mamas and Papas collaboration with Liberty. Quite clearly it's a rocking horse and it makes horsey sounds if you um, squeeze the ear like so. And the horse's hair is also um, crinkly so Delilah loves playing with this stuff here and it's just such a gorgeous rocking horse and like i said on my blogging channel i really hope that when delilah's too old for it it gets passed down to um, her kids and and so on oh and the last thing i almost forgot to show you is this rug which is next to her cot it's from john lewis i think it was only about 30 pounds which is actually really cheap for this style of rug because usually uh, they're quite expensive um and it's just really lovely and fluffy so that's the end of Delilah's room tour. The lighting has been so difficult, like it's super sunny outside now and 10 minutes ago it was stormy. So it's taken me about four hours to film this video but I'm glad it's filmed now. I hope you enjoyed it and I will definitely do an updated one when I put a few new things in here. Um, I've got some ideas of stuff I'd like to pop in here now she's a bit older. And yeah, like I said, everything I can I will try and link in the description like that gorgeous doll that's in the background and the lovely blanket that you are currently balancing on. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little room tour. I hope I've not missed anything out. So I've already said my biggest tip is to buy stuff that you would happily use later on when it no longer needs to be used in your kids bedroom so in the comments let me know what your biggest tip is i'd be interested in knowing because if someone who's expecting has clicked onto this video and um wants some advice on kind of top tips for nurseries they can look in the comments and see all your guys top tips but anyway i hope you enjoyed it bad lighting and all i will see you in my next video bye